Tailwind is a popular library for styling your web applications. In this video, I'll show you how to use it with Angular CLI using at Engine Tailwind. What we have here is a new Angular application, version 11, with hot module replacement enabled. To install Tailwind, we open the terminal and run ng add at ng-need slash tailwind. The installer asks if we want to enable dark mode. We'll pick class. Next, it asks if we want to enable Tailwind in our component styles. The answer is yes. Lastly, it asks if you want to install any plugins. We pick forms and typography. It then installs the packages and adjusts the project. When we check the output, we see that we added a Webpack config and the Tailwind config. And additionally, there are changes in styles.css and index.html. Because we updated the Webpack config, we need to restart our dev server. Once it restarts, we can see that the basic Tailwind styles get applied. When we check styles.css, we see that the Tailwind imports are added here. In tailwind.config.js, we see that dark mode is set to class, and the plugins are added for us. In index.html, we see that the dark class gets added to the body tag, and this is the way to activate dark mode. Now let's open our app component and add some classes to our div. We see the styles getting updated, and it works as expected. In order to target dark mode, we can add classes and prefix them with dark semicolon. Then we can go into index.html and get rid of the dark class, and we can see that it toggles the dark mode. I could play with this for hours, but let's move on. Probably the biggest drawback of Tailwind is that your classes get very large very quickly. Luckily, there's a solution for this. We can replace these classes with a banner class, and then open our component style sheet and define dot banner here. Inside this class, we add add apply and paste in our classes. This will take a second to recompile, but after that you can see that the output is back where it was and we have a cleaner template. This Tailwind library is created by Chowtron and you can find it on GitHub under the ng-need organization. Here you can find the installation instructions as well as the instructions on how to use it in an NX workspace, which is done by installing the library first and then run nx generate at ng-need slash tailwind semicolon nx setup. Start this repo if you haven't already, you can find the link in the description. The last thing I want to show you is the purge functionality that ng-need tailwind comes with out of the box. It's configured so that it removes all unused CSS from Tailwind when you run a production build. In our app, you can see that we just have a 4K CSS file in our dist. And that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. If you support my work, consider sponsoring me on GitHub. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or send me a tweet at bman_nl. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.